Good morning. Happy Saturday. It is January 11th. Um, happy New Year again. <laughs> um, today we are going to be talking a little bit of review, like just a little couple tips about staying consistent and setting little goals, little mini habits. And um, we also have a special guest today, Lynette, who I'm super excited to have on here because she um, just stood out to me because this past year she had made a commitment to stick to her fitness goal. And um, if you have your, sorry, if you have your phone not muted, make sure you mute it. Okay. Actually, I think I got that one. Okay. So anyway, she really stuck to her fitness goals this year, even when timing didn't work out or even when it was hard or even if she fell off she came back and stuck with it anyway and I think her mindset shift this past year is really something to um, take in and learn from because um, it's really what makes you succeed and keep going so I'm excited to hear from Lynette so okay but first I want to talk just a little bit of review about um, how to stick with your habits and your goals especially at the beginning of the year we're all like very like driven to create our goals and our resolutions and um and if we don't keep a couple things in mind it's easy to just make these really really high goals for ourselves and then just walk away from them or start them and then get frustrated and give up right and so i don't want you to do that so i'm gonna review just a little bit one of the things i want to review is mini habits and i talked about this in the past but i just kind of want to reiterate it because I find it's very important. Let me pull this up and I'm going to share. I put this document in the, oh, why is it not sharing it? Hmm. Let me see if I can get it to share. It's not sharing. It's not sharing for me. Oh, well, it is definitely not sharing. Let's try one more time. Ah, there we go. I put this document in the chat. And it's just a little mini habit tracker, but it's kind of different because, okay, so we have four weeks here, right? And if you can tell, the first week only has two lines. And that's like a reminder to us to not be too obsessed about doing 8 million things at one time. Now, when I say that, I don't mean you shouldn't be working on the other things also. That doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to work out every day, um, you know, at least 10 minutes. I'll pat myself on the back for 10 minutes and I'll drink my water every day, but I'm not even going to try to meal prep and I'm not even going to try to stick to my meal plan. Like that's not what I'm talking about here. But what I am talking about is that this is the thing. These are the things you're going to track and focus on. And if you put that mental, that extra mental um, energy into just those two things and tracking them and rewarding yourself for them, then just two things, then you'll probably stick to them a little bit better. And then the following week, you stick to those two things. And if you feel like you did really, really well the, the prior week, if you feel like you did like most of these days, then stick to those two things again and add on one more, right? And then if you can keep looking and then there's another one for three and then four here. So it's basically just a, a reminder to not, um, to not really put too much mental energy into everything when it comes to tracking and like rewarding, but to make sure that you're sticking to one or two things and then really track them and reward yourself over and over and over again until they completely become routine. Okay. And this little reward thing is different. I've never seen that in any other tracking sheet. And I think it's really, really important. Now rewards can be so different for everybody. And I want to just encourage you to think of rewards that can, that like mean something to you and think of something that you wouldn't do normally. So um, they also don't need to be expensive or too time consuming either. So I think most of us are moms and moms tend to really put their like, um, pa not passions, but they're like little hobbies that they enjoy on the back burner. So maybe it's like um, reading a fictional book, right? Or um, making time to call an old best friend, somebody who's moved away, but you haven't talked to them in a long time. 
right? Um, that you love and you want to talk to, but you just don't have the time, right? Or maybe it's like having a cup of coffee with a friend and like leaving the kids at home. Like these are just things that, and for us coaches, I mean like having a cup of coffee, leaving kids at home and not bringing your work with you. Um, so like, <laughs> I think these are just like little things that you can really do that aren't a lot of money, don't have to be time consuming. It's not like you have to make a big deal. You don't have to like go get your nails done and get a massage. That, those are like the things that we always think of when we're like, oh, I'm gonna reward myself with that. Funny thing is, I might write that down, but I'll still not do it. Like if I hit the goal, I'll be like, eh. I'm not, obviously it doesn't mean anything to me, right? And it seems more stressful for me to even go do that than it does <laughs> for, you know, to not do it. So um, even like making a phone call, calling a friend and just brag about yourself. Hey, um, I'm totally going to brag about myself and I really need you to do me a favor and cheer me on when I tell you this. Like if that's your reward, then go for it, right? But just think of something that's small. Um, like I said, read a book. That might be one. Like just leave the house in your car and go read a book for 10 minutes so nobody's bothering you. Like it, <laughs> it doesn't have to be a big deal. But the reward thing is really, really important because it's going to help help you like just change the rhetoric in your mind. And when I say mini habits, I mean like, even if your habit is to um, drink all your water, like drink water every day, if you're normally only drinking two cups of water a day, then just add another cup to it, right? Don't like, you can work on drinking a gallon or half a gallon, but you're gonna track it and pat yourself on the back for doing the little bit more. I hope that makes sense. So um, that, I love that, that habit tracker because it kind of keeps things um, on the right track in your mind. Um, okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about are just little ways to stay motivated. So what I hear a lot is, um, I don't know how to get motivated to work out or eat right. And I don't know how to get motivated to, um, yeah, meal prep or I, well, I was doing well, but then I just lost my motivation. Um, like these are things that I hear a lot and motivation is kind of a choice you have to take action to create that motivation. Um, but there are certain things that you can do to create the motivation. So one is to stay submerged in the topic, okay? And as in our coach world, in our challenge group world, that if you make the decision to do that, it can be a little easy because we have all the tools in front of us. So you can make a commitment to be checking into that challenge group every day. You can find a book and talk to your coach about this if, if you need help. Find a book that will constantly, that you can listen to every day and constantly keep your mind on track and motivated. Um, you can, I have some other things written down. You can think of an event coming up that you're super excited about that you could work towards. Um, there's a lot of different ways to stay motivated. I find, um, I'll talk about that in a minute because I'm going to let Lynette talk. And the thing I want to talk about should be talked about after Lynette. <laughs> so I want to, let's talk about, let's bring Lynette on here because she has a lot of great tips and, um, and her story is awesome too. Let me see if I can find the spotlight. Lynette, you can unmute yourself. And okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you and I can see you. That's good. So hey. Lynette, the reason why we brought you, I brought you on today is because last year, um, you decided that you were going to do more at home workouts and, and well, I'm going to let you tell your story first and because I don't sure. want to go ahead. You can share a little bit about yourself and what, what got you started with working with us. Great. So, you know, for myself, I enjoyed sports growing up and I did, I was a runner, but I had an ankle injury that left me on the sidelines and I became very sedentary in general. And as I became more sedentary, I was eating really bad and I kept just binging and binging and binging. I grew up, my dad was, I, my dad raised me. So single father and his idea of a home cooked meal was very much like the hungry man 
Salisbury steak for any of you that might have grown up in the 80s, 90s. You know, that that was something that was literally all we ate. So those unhealthy habits then continued for me through adulthood. And I I've been a fan of Beach Body. I like I ebb and flow. And I like 10 years ago, I fell in love with Sean T. Kind of have a crush on him, if I'm being honest. Um, and my husband is fully aware of that. But I loved his rock and body and hip hop abs. So from there, you know, I always Beach Body always held a special place in my heart. So fast forward now to May time frame. So I was going to the gym and I was going to the YMCA. It was a 20 minute ride there, 20 minute um, back. And so once I had stepped in and received a promotion at work, very grateful, but I was in a huge transition at that point. And I had a lot less time than I did before. So it ended up being that my, the workouts that I was able to do, it was only about one to two times a week. And I would be there for like 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. And the only thing I would do was go to the elliptical. So I was getting really bored. I was frustrated and my anxiety had increased substantially. And so at that point, I remember that I did have a BOD membership. I never even had downloaded the app on my TV. So that was my first step. And from there, I had started 21 Day Fix that I, I love that. So I went back to that and I reached out to Coach Ashley and had talked with her. And then she had let me know about the Morning Meltdown 100 program. Yeah. So Lynette, um, before I keep going and asking more questions, how many, you have children at home, right? I do. Yeah. So I have a seven-year-old daughter and a two and a half-year-old son. Yeah. So you're, and, working full. you're working full time. You have yeah. a seven-year-old, a two and a half-year-old, a husband. And, and he's not home all the time, right? Yeah, he does travel a lot. And thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, so uh, Mike, yeah, he travels a lot during the week. So I never know um, from week to week. I might not know until, you know, Thursday of the week before if he's traveling for the next week. Yeah, yeah which is crazy. And so, like, let's just put that in perspective. And you were driving 20 minutes one way, 20 minutes the other way. That's 40 minutes out of your time. Mm -hmm. And then not even knowing, like of having a full schedule of what you're doing at the gym, like sticking on the elliptical. That's a lot of time to be. Right. How has um, working out at home made a big difference in your schedule altogether and your routine? Like, has it yeah. helped with routine too? Yeah, it very much has helped with routine. I am very grateful because I, and I say this, but honestly, I would never go, I love not worrying about what I look like when I go to work out number one, because I would always want to make sure that I look semi-presentable mm -hmm. for that like 30, 40 minutes, not that anyone was looking at me, but I, I, that I was able to take out and not really care. And so for me, I was very much able to, okay, what is my, my, schedule the next day and figure out when I could work out. So if I did have a work from home day, I was able then to, okay, I have my lunch break is open. So I'm able to work out during that time frame. Or, you know, I might, I might have a lot of uh, meetings that day, but I know I can, before I pick up the kids from daycare, I can work out during this time frame. So it, it very much made it more manageable and consumable, and that helped me to increase my consistency as well than being able to work from home. And I say this because I, you know, I, I love being able to work out in my sports bra. I would never go to the gym and do that. Like, I, I just would never do that. But I love the option that, you know, if we're sweating our, our butts off with the workout, I could just like you know, take a layer off and who cares what I look like. So yeah, it's been a game changer being able to work from home with bod. I, I love it. I love that you say that because I also, this is going to sound funny. I also will work out in my sports bra at home and broadcast it on the internet, but I would <laughs> never go to the gym in a sports bra. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but um, I love 
I love that um, we're talking about fitness right now on the nutrition talk, but I mean, I feel like it makes a big difference. And after talking a little bit about those mini habits over and over again, I feel like that's what you did. You were like, listen, going all in on everything was a bit overwhelming for me right now in my season. So I'm really going to work on fitness right now. And not that you didn't work on nutrition though, because you were drinking Shakeology also. It's not like you were just working on fitness, but you were taking the, the little steps and, and even though they might seem like big steps, but you're doing like, you worked on your workouts and added Shakeology and made sure that you were be, finding a way to be consistent with both of them. Right. One of the funny or great messages I got from you was like, Oh my gosh, I didn't bring Shakeology on the trip with me. And I was like, <laughs> that just like gives the testament of Shakeology. Cause I find a lot of people, they, um, they're nervous. They're like, well, do I want to drink this all the time? Is this something I really want to make a habit? And, um, but I find that people who like get into the habit of it. And then for some reason they have to drop off for any reason. That's when they notice the big, big difference of what it makes in their life. They might not notice it right away because it's a slow change. Just like when you're eating, you know, eating healthier and everything, it can be a slow change. But then when you stop taking, you're like, Oh my gosh, where is my Shakeology? <laughs> Did you find the same thing when you, um, when you went, you went to, uh, uh where did you go? Asia. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you find that you were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I, I wasn't drinking that every day. Did it make a significant difference in the way you felt? Yeah, it did actually. When it comes to energy wise, I, and let's be honest, like, uh, fiber, you know, there's fiber in it. So yeah, yeah. what, what happens with that? Yeah. When you don't, like, okay, we all got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you realize it when you're traveling specifically when you don't have it because you're not eating normal and then you're not taking your Shakeology and your stomach gets screwed up. So Shakeology, yeah. helps, especially when you come back from that, it'll help ease you back into everyday living. Yeah. And I, I have a work trip to Germany in March and I made sure that I have the little packets now. So I don't normally, I just take it from the big container, but yeah. I did order the little packets, also the daily ones yeah. so that I can just pack them for the next trip. So I'm, I'm prepared this time. I'm excited. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, didn't, I mean, for some reason I don't have my thing in front of me, but one of the things I wanted to say about consistency and this, I think, I honestly think this has a lot to do with your situation as well is when it comes to fitness. One of the reasons I was able to stay consistent for so many years is I decided one thing and stuck with that one thing no matter what. And that one thing was I'm going to commit, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to commit to the new program that comes out every single time. And the reason why I think that works so well is because when you're in a community like this, it's like, um, it's like when you go, to, if you were going to a gym, like you can go to the gym and do whatever you want, or you can upgrade and you can do all the fitness group classes and you can make friends with those people. And, and then you can like hold each other accountable by coming every day and knowing the class schedule, right? Which sounds like a lot of work and it really is. But in this situation, we make it easier. Um, we have the community for you. And if you commit to those new programs every single time, you get the benefit of the high energy of everybody doing the same exact workout on the same day at the same time. And even if you're not exactly on the same schedule as everyone, you're still like enjoying that energy of everybody doing the same program. Do you, um, now that you've done it both ways, you've done, you know, workouts from Beachbody on your own and you've done workouts from Beachbody in test groups, I'm going to call them, um, where mm -hmm. everybody's doing the same exact program. And do you see a difference in how well it keeps you on track? 100%. So I, because I, I call you coach Ashley. Um, I remember you and I were talking and you told me about morning meltdown 100. And I said, yeah, I, I, that sounds exciting, but I'm going to Asia for two weeks and I'm going on vacation. I have like no desire to work out during then. And you're like, yeah, but you can, you can stream. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not going to. So you know, I kind of like, I, I was starting to shut it down and then I thought, you know what, let me do it. And I'm really grateful that I did because seeing everybody post pictures, their sweaty selfies, that was motivating to me. So I would see Sarah Faye, Yvonne posting like their sweat pics 
and so many other people. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, they did it. I need to do it. I need, so that was, it was subliminally telling me that I can do it too. They did it, you know, and it, we became very much a group and were able to support and cheer each other on. I think that really helped me. I was invested in them finishing the morning meltdown 100 as well. And that's where I think the variety though is important. So to what your point, um, Ashley is like the different groups. So now that we're in bar blend, I'm loving it. It's so far out of my comfort zone and I'm loving it. And I'm, I love the fact that I I'm seeing everybody's picture. Everybody's working out the same questions and we're there to help support and uplift one another. And that, that is a huge, like that helps to me to stay using the term earlier, like that motivation. It helps me because it's like, I don't have an excuse. These people are doing it. So can I. Yeah. And, and you're right. What is the variety too? Like you get, well, I do. I get bored. Like doing yeah. a program more than once in a row, like bores the crud out of me. And so the fact that Beachbody has been so good lately and will continue to be doing a new workout program almost every season is great. And and I know it's a little bit more to like upgrade to that new program, but I think it's very much worth it. Like very much worth it. Because it because you're almost guaranteed to stick to that workout. And even like when Transform 20 came out, which is right before you like joined in with us, mm -hmm. I wasn't like I was I was like, I don't wanna do it. I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. But going two weeks into it after you know, I committed anyway. And after two weeks of going into it, I fell in love with it. Um morning meltdown for me wasn't my jam, but I did most of the workout. And so what I'm saying is if you just make that one commitment to do all the new workout programs that come out here, you're gonna have less stress because you already know what's coming up. You're gonna have like this opportunity of being able to fill your calendar and know that you have a full group of like accountability buddies the whole way through. Like you're, you're not going to have to go looking for new people to do a new thing and you're going to be more motivated and you're going to be more interested and the energy's high. I mean, like there's so many benefits to just, just saying, you know what, screw it. I'm going to do every new workout program that they come out with. On top of that, you're going to be stronger. You're going to be more fit and you're going to be what's the word? Um, like, I don't want to use the word flexible, but more resilient in your body because you're doing all different kinds of workouts. You're not just working on the same thing every time. And so you're getting more of a full body, um, functional workout because you're doing different things as you go. And that's really, really good for us because our bodies adapt. And so if you're doing something new every time, like your body is going to be like a a lean, mean working machine, right? <laughs> now, something you said to me, because um, you said this year is going to be your year of working on nutrition because you feel like you have the habit of fitness. And I'm really, really, really excited about that for you. Um, but you did say something to me about being able to work on fitness and doing it from home and everything. Can you believe that it's only 30 minutes a day and you feel so much stronger than you did when you were going to the gym? You said something like that to me, right? Yeah, yeah I cannot believe yeah, I, I feel so much stronger because you do, you think about it's a work from home and I was going to, I I'm using air quotes, a legit gym <laughs> and you think there's no way I, yeah, I'm so much stronger after morning meltdown 100. And then I go to bar blend. I'm like, Oh, okay. I still have a lot to do, but yeah, it, I can't believe I'm in a uh, better shape than I have been in a, in a long time because, and those, so the beach body, the bod workouts, they are, they are legit. And I'm not using air quotes for that. Like they are legitimate workout programs that you can see serious results and you can get really strong from. I love it. I, I just love that. And I, and I love hearing it from you because I already know it's true for me, but when you hear right. it from somebody else, it's very like, it's, it, it's, it's just awesome to hear that um, people I mean, this is, this is coming from just doing the workout program, like not completely following everything else. And, and when you're feeling like strong, it motivates you to want to work on the next step also. And I love that. And so now Lynette got ultimate portion fix 
And um, the other day, I'm like, Lynette, listen, just watch the first video, watch the first video, and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, you're like, I'm totally gonna do like w watch this, and then I get this message. <laughs> I forget what you said. You're like, um, that video was amazing. <laughs> I what, it was like the sugar video, I think. So yes. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> terrified me. It was like, okay, I need to cut out a lot of because I, being a mom. And I end up eating a lot of processed foods and that's just the reality. I've always, in my head, I didn't have that capacity at that time. And that, yeah, going through those videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much added sugar in things that I would have never thought that that was a testament in itself that I need to make sure for myself and for my family that I'm not... I'm not feeding them these processed foods that contain so much hidden sugars. Yeah. That's so true. And you know what? Um, I do hear a lot of people who are like, well, I, I have 21 day fix. I'll just follow that. And I'm like, I don't think you understand. This is a completely like different thing. You're going to learn so much from this and it's going to make a huge impact in your life. If you watch these videos, um, we only have three minutes left. So I want you to tell us how has your life changed? from before starting with us and like really being consistent with doing the groups versus now? I would say the biggest differences is I feel like I'm part of a community, number one, a fitness community where I didn't feel that way at the gym before. I am so much more committed to my nutrition and my workout program. I, and honestly, like I, it's, it's one of those feelings where it's just like, I'm saying it again, but like that community makes a difference when it comes to, I feel stronger, I feel healthier. And I know that there's other people out there that have answers and I can reach out to you and, you know, others can reach out to their coach when we're struggling. I think that's the biggest thing that if I'm struggling, I know that I have a lifeline I can reach out to you and that has made a huge difference. I forgot I was muted. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love you, Lynette. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, I'm, I think you sharing on here is going to help a lot of other people get started in their fitness routines and their nutrition routines and bring them into this community. And you're right. This community is the reason why I started. Well, yeah, it's the reason why I started and it's the reason why I'm still here. So Thank you so, so much for sharing. And I really hope, um, guys, if you're on here today and you want a little more piece of the community, the girls in the chat are like going back and forth like crazy about Super Weekend. This weekend is Super Weekend. So if you can get to a Super Sunday, Super Saturday, um, or just get online if you can and, and um, watch some of what's going on, they're going to be bringing out some amazing announcements. But really, the Super Sunday and Super, anytime you can get together with coaches, the energy is so much mm. more than being online. So if you can get in front of coaches, do it anytime that there's a meeting. All right, we have less than a minute to close us out. I love you guys. I will make sure to post the recording. Thank you again, Lynette. You're super awesome, and I'm really proud of you. Ashley, oh, thank can, you. We can we take a picture? Yeah, take a picture. Ready? Everyone smile. One. Wait, you can't. It's like I can't see everybody. I'll do it. One, two, three. I got it. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.